Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. I hope while you're here, you'll join Nene's Glam Squad. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn up the notification bell. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. So today's video, I got these, um, expert hair removal collection i got this from tj maxx when i went and visited my dad the creme shop and it was 4.99 and you get six razors so that's not a bad deal i've been doing some research guys and i got these when was it back in june no july i got these in july and I just haven't been brave enough to do it. So we're gonna shave my face today. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Okay guys, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around for this. I've been watching some videos to kind of get an idea of what I needed to do. The first thing that they say is to wash your face really good and then you're gonna wanna use a toner. And most of the videos I watched, they used a witch hazel so I used this Humphreys witch hazel organic toner calm and clear clarify with lavender so I use this to make sure because they said you want your face to be like oil free dirt free everything like so I did that and then a couple of the videos they use like a uh, facial oil to put on to I guess maybe um, make it easier for the razor to glide across your skin so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face spread it around I'm so nervous for this guys I'm so nervous oh my god oh my gosh all right and then I'm gonna get one of these little pads right here and um have this ready to clean the razor off because I got that and that well I mean not lots of, well I, I I guarantee I probably have a lot of peach fuzz on my face just saying <laughs> all right here we go I'm gonna use this and they say hold it at a 45 degree angle you don't want to hold it straight because you'll cut yourself so you want to hold it at a 45 degree angle and you want to like kind of hold your skin I don't want to cut my hair. You want to hold your skin kind of tight. So let's see how this goes. I don't see any coming off, you guys. And they say to do like short, like little strokes. You guys, nothing's coming off. Why? This is going to be a complete fail. Oh, a little bit's coming off. I don't want to cut my hair. Get back there. I don't think this is working. You guys, am I doing something wrong or what? Maybe it is doing something. I think I got a little bit off. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I did get it. I don't see the peach fuzz. I thought I was gonna see it like coming off, you know what I mean? Like, 
like a couple of the videos I watched, they were like, one of the girls said, if you're new to this, don't do your nose. So I'm not going to do my nose. I'm just going to do a little bit on my forehead. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm doing this right, you guys. I think I did it. I just, I guess I expected to see like it coming off, you know what I mean? Like, but you don't, like, well, at least I didn't. They said this is really good, like, it, it, like, I forget what the lady said, but it gets, like, the dead skin off and stuff, like, exfoliating, like, really good exfoliating of your skin. Some, I, I can't remember exactly how she explained it, but if you watch some of the videos, like, there's this one, and this one lady, and she's, like, a, not a dermatologist, but, uh, what do you call them? I'm an idiot, you guys. I'll put the word up in here if I remember to look for it, but esthetician, she's an esthetician. And the way that she was explaining it is like, they do these treatments. The only difference is, is these are like a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing as going in and having them do like Thermal blade abrasion or something like that. My skin feels really soft right now though. All right, and then they say to wipe your face. Why am I using the same pad? Hmm, mm-mm. Use the Witch Hazel toner and just wipe down your face again just to get anything that might be on your skin off. I think I missed a spot right here. All right, so I'm going to let this dry down. I'm going to clean this off with alcohol. Now is gonna be the real test. Doing my makeup and seeing how the foundation goes on. Cause everybody says her foundation like goes on like butter when you shave your face. All right, now the last thing that they did was a couple of them, not all of them, but a couple of them use uh, a rose water spray to put on their face afterwards just to kind of calm it down. So. This is Grace and Stella Rose Spray. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Now I got a couple of videos to film today, but I thought I would do this with you guys. Hold that thought. Alcohol. And I am just gonna pour this. Actually, I'm gonna use one of these cotton pads and I'm gonna put some alcohol on it. And then I'm just gonna clean sanitize this for the next time. I'm sure I can get a couple uses out of this. Well, I don't know. Maybe a few uses. I'm not sure how often that you have to shave your face. I'm assuming that you just got to kind of keep an eye on it. And I missed a spot there too. Son of a bitch. Oh, well, that's the first time. So we'll get better with time. We'll get better with time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will let you know how the makeup goes on and everything. 
and we'll talk about it in videos that I do. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is you're watching this. I love you all. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.